Okay, so in this video what we're going to do is look at how we can take input into a program, do something with it, and then output the result. So for example here, we're going to start with the last thing we had where we had um, the variables being assigned values. Now obviously it's a bit silly to just hard code in John and Smith as the first name and last name. So what we can do is we can use an input to take that um, name from the user. So if I just remove here. and um, what it looks like is we can say first name equals input and then it's very similar to the print uh, command and that has the brackets there and in speech marks we just put the string that we want to appear so I can just say what is your first name and I'll just save that one there so you can see what should happen is the first name uh, will be inputted by the user and then the last name is hard coded in as Smith and then the result should be hello whatever the user enters is their first name followed by Smith. So if I run this over here in show you can see what is your first name so if I put in Bob press enter hello Bob Smith so you can see what's happened here is the user input has been assigned to the variable over here called first name and then that first name has been called in the print command and displayed on screen. So um, I'll just repeat that again with the last name. So input last name. Oops. And so we'll save that one. And so now this should ask for both of our first and last names before it prints anything out. If I run this, what is your first name? I'll say John, last name Smith and hello John Smith. So you can see the user input has been assigned to a variable which is then being called in the print command and displayed in our output. Okay so that's how the input command works. Um, you can also um, use input for some maths uh, math commands or math features so for example what we could do here is um, after let's ask our name we could also say uh, ask for two numbers and we'll just multiply them. So if I say number one equals input enter a number actually and then what we'll do is we'll just print um, that number times two or something like that. There we go. So what that should do there is it should uh, double the number. Now just watch what happens though here. If I just save that and run it and we'll just go through the first name. So I'll just enter a couple of meaningless things here. Now it says enter a number. So if I put the number 5 in. What we would expect is the number 5 to be doubled and come out as the number 10. However, it's come out as 55. Now this is because when we um, use the input command, it actually defaults to string. In other words, just plain text. And so the number 5, when it's entered, is entered as if, um, if I just put it over here, as if it looks like this like a string, so with um, speech marks around it. And when you multiply a string by something, like 2 in this case, all it does is it doubles the length of it. So instead of just being one character long, it will now be two characters, so it will become 5-5, five, five, which is what happens in our program. So what we can do is a thing called casting, and that is where we force the user to input um, a certain type. So over here, when we're inputting a number, quite clearly we want an integer. So I'm just going to put int the number and then what I do is I'm wrapping brackets around my input statement. So you can see there everything that is input should be an integer. If it's not an integer it will return an error. Um, so actually I'm just going to remove the stuff at the top there just so this program runs quicker. So when I run this now it will ask me to enter a number. If I enter the number 5 there it is it's doubled and displayed so we get output of 10. However if I run that again and I enter a word, it errors out. And so what we'll do later on is we will look at ways of preventing those errors and so we can um, create a, a personalized error message that says, oops, that wasn't a number, try again. But for now, um, it's sufficient for you to look at this and realize that this is how we um, set the type of that variable. So that variable, rather than being a string, is now going to be an integer, a number. And if it's not a number, um, we're going to get an error. 